There should be spiritual ascent. Otherwise you cannot understand. If you are living with your ego and super-egos, you cannot understand. As it is, it is Mahamaya, no one can understand. Even Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha could not understand. It's so tremendous. It has played tricks on them also. But at least you'll enjoy the play. You will be a vehicle. You will be an instrument of that great power. And you yourself will see how you play Mahamaya tricks on others. This is again a promise of Mahamaya. So be careful. It's already been said. You have already noticed. You have already seen it. It will not reveal to you everything because you cannot bear it, the revelation. But slowly you will see it. But you must have power to bear it. If you have that power, then there cannot be anything in between you and me. We all can become one with that. This Mahamaya power is the one which has given you Realization, is the one which is guiding you, which is helping you. So many of you are still keeping to one deity, like some people who are worshipping Shiva are still with Shiva, some with Vishnu, some with Christ. They are all with Me, all integrated. They still go back to the same, I have seen. That's a dangerous thing because they won't stand with you in that. Still the attachments are there. They are also very subtler attachments. Get out of it. You should have only one attachment and that is to Mahamaya and nothing else. And that's how it is going to work out for you. It's not difficult for you to understand because you have sharp intelligence. But it doesn't go in the heart, more in the brain. While those who have lesser intelligence have a larger heart, it goes into their brain very easily. Supposing I go to India, you know all the villagers of India, what will give them the greatest pleasure? If I ask for something, supposing I tell a poor man, can I have half a gram of gold? He will never question. Say there must be something, she is Mahamaya. If she has said it, there must be something. He will beg, borrow, steal, he'll do something and get it for me. Because he sees the <coughs> complete dimension of that saying that you have to get me this. He sees it, he knows it, and he will work it out in every way possible. Thank you. What is to be done? He will not think, he has to borrow, he has to do this. He is not bothered about this. There is a story <coughs> of Shivaji which I must have told you before also. That is, Guruji wanted to take his test. Because Mahamaya is a testing, testing power. And he said to his disciples, he said, I have got a terrible a uh, boy on my foot which is about to burst out, the huge thing he had here, tied up. And it's leaking now with the pus is coming out. And I cannot get it cured unless and until one of you can suck it. Imagine. How many of you would agree? Won't even think of it, isn't it? What a test. And especially Indians who are so worried about their personal cleanliness, they wash their hands fifty times. Everybody looked at it quite worried. <laughs> Shivaji had come back down. And Shivaji said, All right, I will do it. 
and it was a mango he had put in there. <laughs> and he sucked it and he said, it's very nice and sweet. <laughs> One day again uh, he asked that, I want the milk of a tigress. Everybody was quite frightened. <laughs> Who is going to milk the tigress? <laughs> Shivaji said, all right, I'll go. He went in the forest and uh, he was looking out for a tigress who has given her cubs and they, they are even worse. And he saw some cubs there, so he went near them and he started saying, See, my guru wants your mother's milk. Can I have it? I want to have your mother's milk. The tigress was looking at him and he bowed to her. He said, You see, my guru wants your milk. What am I to do? And she could see that. She came and stood before him. He had taken a pot with him, he built it. And he took that for his good. Because even a tiger, even a serpent respects the dedication to reality. And that's what is lacking. And once that is lacking, you cannot be respected. And you have to respect yourself. Whether others respect you or not makes no difference at all whatsoever. But if you have respect for you, you won't bother about what others have to say. I can make out people who are intensely seeking, who are just seeking, who are just here because of certain relations are here or something like that. Now those who are intensely seeking will get what they have asked for and that has everything in it, everything. And those who are casual will also get casual remarks, that's all. So the intensity will be fulfilled with much greater intensity. No use looking at others, look at yourself. If you are losing your joy, you are no more a surgeon. You have to be in joy, then only you are a surgeon. 